everybody to another episode of the 737 build here on the DIY Finn channel and today we're gonna be looking at the yoke uh, mechanism and then we're gonna be looking at the uh, floor insulation I'm just starting here in Fusion 360 where we have the designs and I'm gonna show you a little bit about uh, how it's going to be how we're gonna do this so here you can see the insulation panels all inside uh, the floor here and uh, okay guys um, here you can see now I have hidden all the unnecessary things and uh, you can see it a little better so this is the yoke it's dual linked uh, yoke from uh, DI 737 DI sim uh, from uh, Carl uh, and the link for the design is in the description um, but I have also modified this quite a lot um, so what I'm working with is a lot different than what you will be getting if you buy the designs. So you can see here is the center, uh, well, centering mechanism. So this thing centers the whole um, yoke. And then you can see here on like 90 degree angle um, gears that then in part turn them in here. And here um, is the head, and inside the head we have similar mechanism. I'm missing a gear here, but it uh, turns in a decrease here, and the yoke goes over here. And the same would be on the other side, but I haven't uh, put that in. And here we have the pitch lane, which is a, a huge part um, and very heavy duty. Um, a part that needs to be really strong, so it is welded into the main frame with these metal um, brackets, and then it links with this sort of um, steel link onto here, and then um, then it links into this sort of gender center job here, and uh, it moves these um, out and the springs try to pull them in, so you feel the um, tension uh, when you are moving the yoke. And that is uh, just about the mechanism we are, uh, as you can see, well, what did you see on the last episode? The first episode was these brackets, and then we have uh, it modded, this thing modded and done. But now we will do all this other stuff and all the insulation. So let's get to it. All right, welcome back again. As you can see, uh, quite a lot has happened. Uh, I am installing a vapor barrier on the bottom of this thing. I don't know if it will help. I'm not an expert, but uh, since we had it, I use it here. So I'll put the vapor barrier over the middle beams, and then uh, on top of now this, I'll go ahead and put the uh, insulation, uh, and then. I will show you. You can see this is all nicely painted and I installed some middle supports here that weren't here before. So it's not even like, no, it's probably 30 minutes since the last update too, so. but we have already the insulations attached. It's really uh, easy to cut the fin foam with just a simple uh, knife. Um, but here we can see uh, I installed two screws each to each panel so that they will uh, be held against the floor and I uh, left a little bit of an air gap in between everywhere so air gets to circulate um, just a little bit so moisture doesn't build up everywhere so this is uh, done now next step would be and will be to install the uh, steel cover here and after that we can move on to the next one, or I might uh, move to the next one and install the steel plates all at once because I don't yet have the steel plates ready. Uh, but we'll see, I think I will do that, so I think I will move to the next. All right, here we are again, and you can see that a lot more progress has happened. We have uh, the insulation, first of all, inside here, pretty demon seated, but you see it right there, and then we have the steel screw it in with a self-tapping 
um, screws. And it's looking really nice. Uh, the uh, long sides I got with just just a grinder, and then I got the corners with the uh, metal scissors. And uh, well, well, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, I did paint some more of these, so yeah, those are painted as well. If you didn't notice, and some more stuff inside, but basically, that's where we're at right now. Hello, and we are here today. Uh, so, uh, it's actually been a few days since the last update, I think, and well, uh, the printer is uh, uh, doing a part for the yoke here again, and uh, just the final parts actually for the mechanism as well. Uh, I mean, for the mechanism at least. Uh, but you can see that we are now at the stage of assembling this. So we have have the bearings um, in and secured on all these parts here. All right, guys. So I think it's been quite a while since the last update. Uh, but but right now uh, we are here. At the, uh, not at the um, workshop area. In fact, we will not be going back there anyway. So as you can see, we're here, and uh, I'm just looking at the design and uh, constructing the pitch lane. So the whole pitch lane, I haven't shown you uh, how to make it. Uh, Seven three seven di sim. So Carl uh, has the um, instructions for that, and I have heavily modified it. A lot of the yoke and pitch line myself, so but I can't really share them for you because they are paid models. Um, anyway, you can see on the on that side, I just did some patching up paint here. Um, I painted, painted this rod here, and then I also uh, painted the, these welds here. My friend welded those together and. I uh, just banned them so they're not gonna rust. Uh, so you can see that uh, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna spin it now because the mechanism is still protected, but this, uh, this one and this one are completely mechanically linked, and I, I would say they're pretty perfect. Like, I, I can move the uh, captain side, for example. And the first of the side moves exactly. It's it's really nicely tuned. You can see here is one of these like mechanisms. So you can see the the gears go in here. They are connected here, over here, and then from here here it transmits to this one, and it goes in here, in here, and here is the uh, center mechanism. And there's also the uh, potentiometer or hull central. Then it continues over to this one. This is the exact same as the one up, and it goes here and it goes here, and that's that's all done, and it works fantastically. And wow, oh, what did I find here? Oh, we have yokes. So we have soldered them. This one is a brand new one, and this one is from the last one, but they are both rewired now. Yeah, uh, we will paint this. Don't worry. Look at the cable management here. Oh yeah. Also, I don't know if you have ever seen, but here we have the actuator boy. And it moves this, and it moves this, and it moves this, and it moves this, and it moves this. And here's the roll axis, moves like that. So, I actually realized we never showed these. So here they are in action, and you can see the pedals in the background as well. We did uh, make those, but we have a separate piece coming here. Um, and here we can see the actuator moving the pitch lane, the yoke, and um, that's for the autopilot to control. And it's very, very cool. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this episode, uh, subscribe, like the video, and click that bell so you get notified when we upload the next one. Uh, should be next Friday. And 
current progress is the main instrument panel and that one will also be uploaded as soon as we can. Um, so, thank you and goodbye.